Good morning, everybody. Hi, this is Miss V from Hypothetically Speaking Gardener, the owner of Don's of F and Salon. I am sharing with you my last um, video of my garden for the end of the May tour uh, 2023. And I kind of wanted to show you when we get some rain and some sun, how things go and how they get big. I'm gonna go really fast on this video. Hopefully you can see. And I hope you enjoy the birds, the scenery, and just to see how things grow. I believe the last video I showed of the backyard was May the 1st uh, or around the 2nd or the 3rd. And I had picked potatoes and showed everybody that watched the videos. But I just want you to see how things have grown, how things have took off, how things are inspired, how things have started growing with the rain and the sun. And things die back because they don't like heat. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to show you really quick. But again, my name is Ms. V. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and joining my YouTube channel and watching my garden station. Uh, I've been on this journey since uh, April 2020, and I just want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day and stopping by and enjoying the video. This is my lemon tree. I have some green beans. I have jalapenos, we got beefsteak tomatoes, we got cherry tomatoes, and we got a whole orchard of grapes. They're not ready yet, but I just want to show you how gorgeous they are. All these different clusters of grapes that my grandkids are going to enjoy. Just kind of move some of the leaves and you can just see the clusters of grapes. They're not ready. So just imagine your grapes at the store, how big they get. Look at these. And of course, sometimes my grandkids come out here and pick them. They think they're ready, but unfortunately, they're not ready. But I just want to show you all the different clusters of grapes that we've got back there hiding in the back as well. And I had this grape orchard, these two, I think since 2020. Uh, I brought this on the property 2021 or whatever. And then I took advantage of these and got those 2022. So we'll have a whole orchard full of grapes and got to get some more trellis just want to step back and show you my island i call this island don's island this is my sister she died and i named this island after my sister um we have an apricot that i started from seed that i bought on ebay we have a banana tree that i took from one of my bananas a plant that was in the ground we have a grapefruit a strawberry tower we have some Valencia oranges. We have a calamite orange that I thought that died that I dug out of my front yard that you see the green is coming up and I thought it died, but I thank God I stuck it in the pot. I got these green beans that I bought at Walmart that died back and they had $7 on it and I opened up the green beans, stuck it in there and I'm gonna watch these green beans go up this trellis. We have some tangerines that I bought at the store. You see where I bought it at and it got on some new leaves, some new growth. We got some new strawberries that's trying to transpire, come out of this. We got a purple echinacea that I dropped a seed, which is a beautiful herb that's getting big. We got some cucumbers. We got some papayas. And we got more cucumbers that's coming. We also got rosemary that we got going on at this present time. And I wanna show you this beautiful broccoli. beautiful 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 broccoli I'd already cut a couple and they already came back because I wanted to enjoy it with my kids grandbabies but these are broccolis this is Brussels sprouts and those are cauliflower got some cucumbers that's coming and of course you see these two cucumbers I bought at Walmart they had died back and it was on sale for seven dollars and I cut off the dead leaves which I got to cut them two off like this because it'll kill the whole plant and I already harvested three of the cucumbers off but you see it's one two three and four cucumbers and they're gonna walk with me really quick but I want to show you really quick just a quick view it's so beautiful out here we got a lemon tree right here that I thought that literally died and I did dig it up. I almost wanted to, 
but that is if you touch those leaves my identical like lemon so the lemon tree is coming back that i put in the ground 2022 roughly april or march last year the lime tree hasn't came back that is of another lengthy orange tree that's in the ground and this is a peach tree that i started from seed for me eating the peach that i bought at the farmer's market and i pushed the seed in the pot and then when it started growing i stuck it in the dirt got blackberries we got blueberries we got some sweet potatoes this is going to be my cabbage patch when my cabbage seedlings get ready we got some yellow orange and red watermelon when my okra seedlings get ready this is going to be the okra spot these are honeydew melon cantaloupe and these are going to be elephant ears come out of there which you can see one sprouting i forgot the name of this plant but my landscaper four years ago blessed me with that and i was in a pot and i put it in the ground well i didn't the landscapers put it in the ground this is a pomegranate tree i got some papaya seeds on the porch that i started from seed that i bought on ebay that would be in here this is a pomegranate that i bought at the store and i stuck in here and it is taken off beautiful and it's a whole bunch of herbs that you that i have back here from oregano to lavender to holy basil to peppermint to purple echinacea we got some muscadine grapes we got some ginger we got some turmeric we got some cloves we got some carrots back there we got some onions we got some beets some red garnet we got some lemon balm we got some black mint we got some of everything back there and if you can see in the back corner back there that's my pumpkin patch so that haven't came back but that has, I planted that pumpkin patch, I believe, in 2020. Uh, if not 2021, but for sure, I think 2020. Didn't reseed it. Same seeds. Just come back every year. Just water it. Don't know where that is. I forgot what seeds I put there. So I'm kind of surprised to see what that's going to be due to the fact that I cut it down and they keep popping back. We got a plum tree right here that all my plums died when we had that cold frost i believe between january and february more so february my plums fell off we got a red uh, diamond arkansas apple tree we got a we got a pear tree right here we got a delicious yellow apple tree and we got a banana tree here i stuck some strawberries in here so we have strawberries so my grandkids want to be eating all the strawberries strawberry tower but i put another plum tree here once i find a plum tree this is um, red raspberries and a whole bunch of slew of herbs you name it i got it so take time out invest in some herbs good for health teeth and medicinal purposes then we got some onions down there we got some lavender basil calomel got rosemary lemon balm oregano and thyme i had put some zucchini seeds in here last year but we'll see what pop up because it hasn't took off and it probably um didn't like the cold frost that we had so i'm gonna watch this out if not i need this pot i'm gonna put some beans in it but yesterday i took them out of my seedling cups and I put some black beans in there. These are black eyed peas and these are red beans. And I got eggplant having took off and another eggplant that is bell peppers. I got bell peppers back there. I got broccoli, cabbage, lettuce, cauliflower, uh, spinach, and peas. And everything is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And I got two beds here of collard greens. Not only did I enjoy them, but the bugs are enjoying it. I did a soap and the dish liquid method that you put dish liquid in some, uh, a bottle of water and you shake it and spread. But when it rains, of course, it comes off. So I tell people when you grow any type of brassicas, even those, make sure you grow a lot. Not just grow some for you. Grow some for the animals and the, and the birds. Grow some for the insects because they're going to eat on them. So if you want some to eat, grow plenty so you'll have enough because Mother Nature is going to take its course. And I have some cauliflower back there that they just took off and enjoyed my cauliflower and my broccoli. So since I have some on the other side of the yard, I'm really kind of not upset and can't be upset because of them. 
they need something to eat too. I got some peppermint back there. It's also bug repellent I just put there yesterday. And I'm going to put something right here um, also for bug repellent to help offset the collard greens. And these four things are strawberries. And if I can move one, I saw two yesterday. But these are the strawberries. There's another strawberry that's going to be red. And so another two strawberries hidden down there that you see. And then these, again, these four buckets of strawberries. That's brown potatoes. Brown potatoes. We picked this. This is new potatoes. That's sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. We picked these uh, new potatoes. These two are okra. They didn't come up from last year yet. But I got seedlings on my porch if I have to put some seedlings in. That's asparagus. And I got some seedlings and asparagus on my porch. And I have to put that and i'm going to put maybe two uh, blueberry bushes in here just to offset this so every time this one just looked plain jane um, because it was kind of cute but when i had the mulch but the grass seemed to take over so i'm gonna put two blueberry bushes right here and concentrate on that i got a pecan that i'm starting from seed cashew i'm starting from seed almonds that i'm starting from seed and i got some peanuts that it's, it's um in a pot that i'm starting that i'm gonna put that in there it's gonna be the peanut patch and i'm gonna do like a homemade fence barrier so these are raspberries blackberries or uh the red and black blackberries but it's gonna grow really pretty and big and so i'll have me like a privacy fence and i took one two three four five i put in the ground so i look forward to watching that get big full and blossoming and kind of blocking off some back of view of my backyard and I have a whole bunch of seedlings on my porch to give to my mom and sister and plants that I bought and that I started. And again, I have more herbs right here. Green beans, collard greens in a pot, spinach. Kale hasn't popped up. I told you peas do not like heat. So it's a how did it get the more it start wilting. But all of these are different type of herbs. From basil to rue to oregano to peppermint to sage to amaranth to spearmint to sassafras to parsley. A whole bunch of things to lavender to morning glory, marshmallow, Carolina divine. Some of everything. Yellow curry duck. Some of everything. I'm going to take you through my front yard. And all four of those are elephant ears. Three is popping up. Two have it. But I'm waiting patiently. Got some strawberries here that I put by the elephant ears. Strawberries here. I put some lemon balm in the middle. I put a peppermint here so I can have unreligious of peppermint. And I got some strawberries here. Haven't put the vegetables in this, but I just started the planting. So these got the flowers and I got the marigolds. That's a cherry that I started from seed. That is a blueberry, the plant that I put there. Some of my corn seeds that came up that I planted less than two weeks ago. And I put some more corn seeds down because when it comes to corn, sometimes some take off and others don't. So I did two days ago put more corn seeds and I'm kind of curious to see the other pre-existing corn stock come up from next year due to the videos I saw. If not, I got some seedlings for it. I picked these potatoes so you see some look like they died back because we picked them. The middle we didn't so I'm just trying to see um, what happens once you pick them and put the seedling stem. I'm experimenting back in there and see what happens. This is a calamari orange tree. This is sage. This is lavender. This is a lemon tree that I had that I took in the house last year. This is thyme. This is oregano and a whole bunch of fruit plants that I have here. This is an orange that I started from seed. So just different things that I have. This is my bed full of red purple basil, marigolds, I got squash zucchini, 
uh, spaghetti squash, mixed squash, and this is a very ornamental flower. So plant, I just want to see how big and beautiful it get. And I, yes, I do have it in my front yard in the garden bed, and I'm gonna double layer the bricks, but it is gorgeous already, and I look forward to growing. This is some spearmint. Again, elephant ears haven't popped up yet. This is the peppermint. And I'll just give you a quick view of what you see. Everything in the red pots are roses. It's a cherry tree. That is a peach tree. And another peach tree. And I did a bed here. And I'm gonna put more vegetables in it. I put a flower in, some more red basil. I put a blueberry here and some strawberries on the ground. Somebody dog pooped in my yard. Banana tree hasn't popped up. Another banana tree hasn't popped up. And I took a leap of faith. And I might move it, but I might not. I did some muxidine grapes here. So you can see how gorgeous they are. And there's some more raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries back here. These are raspberries and blackberries. So I'm kind of doing like a little fence when this grows. This will be a fruit fence, like I'm trying to do in my backyard, as I stated early in the video. And I did a blueberry right here, and I put some strawberries right here so we can have fruit all over the yard so none of my grandkids would be fussing over who got as many strawberries than the next person as much fruit so they could almost have like an easter egg scavenger hunt but again thank you i know the video was kind of long but i wanted to end this video to say thank you for stopping by whether you saw this on instagram or youtube if it's instagram i want to welcome you to my new garden channel if you hit the button go to the link and um i post it on my page because i want um the people that know me as a business owner and a hairstylist to know that I'm so a gardener. I've been farming on my land gardening uh, roughly since 2020. And I just want everybody to take a leap of faith, put a seed in the ground or a seed in the pot. You can do all things that Jesus Christ is strengthening you. It's really not hard, but at the end of the day, it's not easy per se, because you gotta put your time and your effort in it. But take a leap of faith, put a seed in the ground, watch it grow and see what happens. If you don't grow it, we don't put it in the ground, you won't know if it grow. But take a leap of faith, put a seed in the ground and continue to share and pay it for it. I love you so much and I wanna appreciate everybody that stopped by YouTube and saw this video or Facebook and hit the link and saw this video. But again, my name is Mrs. V from Hypothetically Speaking Gardener. I wanna thank you again for watching my YouTube garden channel and it's just so amazing just to come back here at daytime nighttime just to look at all the greenery i am a plant lover inside and outside plants so i love you sending off some love and everybody have a blessed day